Garage boxing here, talking about boxing, of course. You've got the fights that are made, Butte and Miranda, we were just talking about, Kelly Pavlik, Sergio Martinez, mm -hmm. but then you've got uh, Paul Williams and Kermit Cintron officially announced for May 8th. That's the weekend after the Mosley Mayweather event in mega Vegas. Fight. That's a mega fight. And this will be a great fight for Southern California. Mm -hmm. It's at the Home Depot Center. It's an awesome setting. It's outdoors. It's in the tennis court. And it, it, it's. It's great, sure. and we should go. And look, even if it was in some ballroom somewhere in Irvine or something, the it's still going to be a good fight. You know what I mean? You've yeah. got you've got Paul Williams, who is again Punisher. The, the Punisher, the most avoided guy, a welterweight, junior middleweight, you know, head light heavyweight, whatever. <laughs> you know, the guy is 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 just you know beating everyone. You know, he had a real incredible fight of the year candidate. Uh, uh, against Martinez last late last year. That's great. And you know, and again now he's fighting a guy Kermit Cintron, who's on the rebound of his career and who's a big puncher, a tall, rangy guy, kind of like you know, kind of like Pavlik, kind of like you know Williams in a way too. Well, Williams is more volume puncher, not as much on power, you know. But yeah, I think Cintron and uh, Pavlik are similar guys. Obviously, Pavlik's more established, you know, a probably all around better fighter with more power, but. Similar style, so it's going to be a good test and hopefully a good preview of a future Williams Pavlik match. You know, of Cintron really is coming off of his uh, big win over Alfredo Angulo, who is a guy who uh, you know was also. Were you thinking he was sick for that fight? Well, I think he was under the weather. Kermit Cintron had fought a hell of a fight in that fight, though. I mean, he, he did. He like, fought perfect against a guy that's a, a slow brawler like Angulo. He but <laughs> Steamrolls everybody. He yeah. boxed him real well, and, and and again, Cintron is a box. He has shown that he can box, and you know, and been, but been less less of a boxer and more of a of a guy who just you know again relies on his power and uh, and his range, and, and you know that that's what he is. And you know, I think it's it it could it be a boring fight if he's fighting another guy who's a boxer who's got range and just or is it going to be who Williams fights are never boring. Right. Williams would throw 90 punches around probably, you know, and uh, if you're throwing punches, odds are you're going to get hit a few times, just like Martinez. Uh, obviously, uh, Citron doesn't have the, the footwork Martinez does, or being left-handed, or the awkwardness of, of trying to figure him out, so I think Williams has an easier time, and, uh, you know, I think he might, he might be able to knock him out, uh, you know, I mean, if you want to go to our predictions, yeah, I'll take Williams in, in 9 or 10. Really? Yeah. And so you just see him just overwhelming. Just him. finally over the just with a barrage of punches. See yeah, I think not that, just one punch, but just accumulated. See, I think that it's gonna be it's gonna be a short night and uh, I just I, I just I don't I don't know how to say this, but I think the Kermit Cintron is gonna knock Paul Williams out. Sure. I think that Paul Williams, when I saw that Sergio Martinez fight, so so many times, especially Hold yeah. on, hold on. No, no, do you no. Think, do you think Martinez dominated Citron and, and got screwed in a draw? Or do you think it was a draw even when they fought? Citron and Martinez. I thought Martinez probably won nine rounds in that fight. Mm -hmm. And they gave it a draw. Do you think Martinez... Do you think that fight was a draw? Or do you here's, think he dominated Here's Citron? what I think. I think that, <laughs> I think that if... if, if uh, Paul Williams were to take away from the Martinez fight that, man, I got myself hit so many times in rounds, basically seven to the end, and probably even more so nine to the end. And he just, his, his, his I remember thinking his head, remember when his snot went flying in slow-mo? His head was like this big fucking cantaloupe, just ready to be fucking, and if Sergio Martinez had any, you know, like Alfredo Angulo power or some Kermit Cintron. Kermit Cintron's got fucking power. The only Kermit guy Cintron, that's knocked him out. Dominated the only by guy, Martinez. The only guy that's that's beat him is who? Margarito, who right. Paul Williams beat. You're Who's right. The You're I, right. I, I know, one thing. Anything to add? I'm gonna make your point. I, one thing's though to, to to beat a guy up and just keeping him up from the outside. Another thing is to actually beat him up and hit him like hit him. I think they're going to win the fight. So, well, good thing that they're going to fight, and we're going to find out who's who's right and who's left. I just I mean, here's the thing, Paul. <laughs> you, 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 it's like you look at a Paul Williams shiny coin, and you look at a Kermit Cintron coin. 
not as shiny, but you know, it's there, it's still worth some money. And I don't know, I just, I, I, I wanna grab that coin because I think that that coin's got more power, and I think that Paul Williams, Who's he not gonna I, I don't think he's gonna learn anything from that fight. It doesn't matter, the, the fucker's got power, and he's gonna use Fuck it. Fuck his power. So, you were taking, Williams who's, against who's Paul Williams knocked out? out? He was taking Williams against Pavlik not too long ago. You're saying Cintron has more power than Pavlik? I'm saying that Cintron is a more athletic and, and more... We're not playing listen, football. I know I'm saying to avoid the, the Paul Williams, you know, power punch. punch. I'm just thinking that he's going to stay on the outside, he's going to avoid that, and he's going to be able to land his shots against Paul Williams. And his, his, I'm his, glad we got this all on tape. His big head hanging out like a cantaloupe, man. I'm yeah. telling you, dude. I, well, it's I just, March 31st. We'll see if this one actually goes up. We'll be there. We'll up. be there at the fight. We'll see. I mean, it's local style. So you're saying, reason. what, a four round knockout by Citron? No, I'm thinking of like six. six. Oh. Six. All right. Is so I'm right? going 10 rounds with Williams. 10 so, rounds with Williams. You guys got to have some feedback on this. Who would who would bet their paycheck think, on Citron? Look. And who would bet their paycheck on. Basically, I don't, I don't, Williams. I don't think that I don't think that, that, that Williams can, not, can knock out Citron. Why? Because Margarito okay? No, but Margarito okay. Martinez loaded. leveled him. He thought it was a headbutt. And he, he got like five minutes to recuperate from a punch. Remember that? I don't know. Give us your thoughts, right? The styles make the fights. That's all I'm saying. We, we agreed on a couple ones before, so we disagreed on this one. We'll see. What are, we, what are you going to give me? A couple beers that night? A, a hot yeah. dog? Or a okay, you got a hot dog. dog. I got a fucking hot dog here for <laughs> your fuck face. No, I'm serious though, man. I'm taking Kermit Centron. Good. Man. What Six about rounds, how much money you knock out. do you stand to lose? You know what, man? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking probably good. I mean, he's got a hot tip too. Good on, hot stock tip. You're gonna have. You're gonna have. You're gonna have to lay some money down to lose it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. So, hey, look. If you think I, I'm crazy, with you think he's full Cintron, of shit, just like Chambers and Klitschko. Oh, let us know. You fucking had to say that, you dick face. Yeah, let us know. Cheers. We'll see you at the fights at the Home Depot Center. Again, that's April, excuse me, May 8th. Uh, that is the, uh, the big fight coming at you at Home Depot in Carson. Cheers. All right. Um, so yeah, that's it. Fucking six rounds. Dude, dude you pulled that out of your ass. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Yeah, you can feel it right. <laughs> Going back in there. You're such a fuck. Dude, there's no way. How do you figure? That guy's so one dimensional. The, the reason Paul Williams had a tough time with Martinez is because he had great footwork. And he was awkward. He'd throw punches. And he, was, he, he had range. What's his name? Just like this. Williams is just going to Williams tee off on Williams, the guy. Williams no, 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 is no, no, fighting no. a guy that, that is more like like him than any guy Does he's Does have fought. more power than Margarito? Look at, look at Does the, Citron look at, have more power than Margarito? No. With, with loaded hands? I think so. Margarito fought. And didn't even hurt Williams. Williams just blew right know, through a guy that's unstoppable. Right through him. He just he a just guy powered, that dominated he powered twice and he, knocked him out. He powder puffed him with points all night, and Margarita almost caught him at the end. Almost, almost is that that's your favorite word? Almost. What it? Almost. We're still rolling here. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm serious, man. I, I just, I, I just. Fuck I, you and fuck your fan base. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let's uh, let's talk.